yes. Pure. Close your eyes and listen to the word pure. What does it make you think of? A clear mountain spring. The look in a newborn child's eyes. The freshly driven snow. And a Windows Mobile 6.5 smartphone. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Marketing 2009. I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com, and this is the HTC Pure. So pure, it's a smartphone. It's uh, the new... AT&T HTC Windows Mobile 6.5 phone. It's really the uh, HTC Touch Diamond 2, but uh, repackaged for AT&T. They call it the Pure. Here it is, $149.99 after a $50 mail-in rebate direct from AT&T on contract. Just came out, one of the first Windows Mobile 6.5 phones. In box, you get the quick start guide. You get the phone. You get something that tells you to use the Quick Start Guide. I guess this is you get a little screen protector, your Windows Mobile software, some other stuff. You get an extra stylus, uh, HTC mini USB to 3.5 millimeter audio adapter, uh, mini USB to USB data cable, uh, your charger that you put on the USB data cable, your two-pronged adapter you put on the charger to put into the wall and your battery comes with a I guess hunt around to see it 1100 milliamp hour battery there you go ooh I gotta clean my thumbnail so we will 5 megapixel camera we will uh, open the phone up Put this in here. I think I've even got a SIM card lying around. Excuse me for one second while I get my SIM card. So it's a world phone. It's got the uh, touchscreen display. It's got TouchFlow 3D user interface on top of Windows Mobile. And uh, it's one of the new wave of Windows Mobile 6.5 devices hitting the market this week. Uh, AT&T also launching the uh, Tilt 2, which is basically the HTC Touch Pro 2, but uh, AT&T format with the Windows Mobile 6.5 pre-installed. So that's the first variant of the Touch Pro 2 in the U.S. to have Windows 6.5 pre-installed. Um, just for comparison's sake, we've also got the new HTC Imagio from Verizon, which is basically like a Touch Pro 2 minus the keyboard. So the Pure here, 3.2 inch WVGA screen, uh, resistive touch, like we said, it's got the zoom bar, it's got Windows 6.5 and TouchFlow 3D, it's got the 5 megapixel camera, uh, quad band GSM, global phone, world phone with uh, 3G data speeds and also um, Wi-Fi. And then, you know, just for comparison's sake, again, the uh, Imagio here is a 3.6 inch display, also WVGA, so just physically larger, same number of pixels and everything, but a physically, you know, much larger display, much larger phone as well. Got a separate video on this one, you can check that out. Um, but this one's all about pure, so let's keep it pure. Five megapixel camera on the back, autofocus, no flash, little stylus slot back here. Uh, you've got a rocker switch on the right side. On top, you've got a power switch. On the right side, or I'm sorry, left side. Let's say right side, rock switch on the left side. On the right side, you've got a little speaker grill. On the bottom, you've got your USB port covered by a little plastic cap. Uh, there is a micro SD card slot, but it's inside the uh, device, hidden behind the back battery cover. All right, and so here you go, the phone uh, all fired up. Got the TouchFlow 3D on the bottom. And uh, your zoom bar. And uh, we, don't, we don't want to set that up right now. We'll set that up later. Thanks. So your zoom bar on the bottom, four buttons, call, cancel, back, your Windows Mobile start key. And there's your uh, Windows Mobile 6.5 menu here. It's got the marketplace, AT&T Wi-Fi, AT&T Music. Um, Opera Browser pre-installed, AT&T Navigator, Office Mobile, all kinds of stuff. Let's go to the album. 
and we'll see how the phone does. I always like that picture. So you get your zoom bar here, which is really handy for one-handed use of the phone. If we're looking at documents, web pages, stuff like that. Uh, kind of just a nice thing, you know, if you're lefty or righty, you can use this to zoom in and out. And actually a little easier to use it one-handed than on a multi-touch screen where you pinch and zoom. You kind of, you can't really pinch and zoom one-handed so well. So this is kind of a nice little feature um, on the newer HTC phones, the Touch Pro 2 and Touch Diamond 2, or the Tilt 2 and the Pure, as AT&T is calling them. Uh, we'll go to Messaging, and we'll do a new MMS, and we'll see how the keyboard looks. Uh, you've got your uh, vertical orientation keyboard here, and um, you know this may be a little bit easier with the stylus, although I seem to be doing all right with my thumb. If I can type, like, well, yeah, there you go. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say if I can type with my thumb on here, then anybody can use this. But uh, you know, a little bit easier with the stylus there. But then we rotate it, accelerometer kicks in. Now we'll try two thumbs, and again, a little smallish. Um, not too bad. Uh, but this phone, you know, it's a resistive touch, not capacitive, so really kind of made to be used with the stylus, and when you use it with the stylus, a little haptic feedback on while I'm typing. Very accurate, you know. Very good. You've also got uh, other input options here, uh, full QWERTY, regular keyboard, phone keypad so you can go T9 style if you prefer. And so there you go. You can check out my review of the uh, the Touch Diamond 2, the original Touch Diamond 2, and uh, I really thought at the time, you know, the best uh, touchscreen only, you know, um, non QWERTY Windows Mobile experience that I tried to date. Touch Flow 3D just makes a world of difference, I think. Um, and so while we're, you know, putting this one through its paces, if you want to find out more about this phone, basically it is the Touch Diamond 2, just with some AT&T, you know, changes, goodies, extras what have you. Uh, Opera, remote, Opera browser pre-installed which is great. It's generally a solid browser. You can three, I've got, see I've got 3D connect, 3G connectivity. I can't talk but I can connect so that's good. So I've got my 3G on and uh, come on you can do it. So Yahoo loading up here, AT&T Yahoo, use the zoom bar, one-handed scrolling. Very nice, not quite done loading. And then you can double tap to zoom out, also very nice. Who's about to get arrested? What NFL coach? What happened? Oh, Tom Cable. Oh, the Raiders' woes continue. My goodness. Wow. So once the, uh, you know, the screen is pretty responsive. It's just that the page wasn't loaded yet. And so it was still kind of rendering and processing the page. Once it's loaded, uh, you know, very responsive. You can see for a resistive touchscreen, really pretty good. 
scrolling is good, um, you know, zooming in and out. You can just see, you know, the rendering in the background, but the actual responsiveness of the screen and moving around is quite nice. It's just a matter of you get that checkerboard while the page re-renders. Uh, so there you go, kind of a quick first look. At the Pure, $149.99 on contract, Windows Mobile 6.5. If you don't want the uh, size and bulk of the Touch Pro 2 and you don't need, or the Tilt 2 on AT&T, you don't need the hard QWERTY keyboard. The Pure, nice compact package, 5 megapixel camera, 3G, Wi-Fi, GPS, all those goodies, and here's your Windows Mobile Marketplace. So there you go. It's a quick first look. Much, much more on the Pure. We might even be giving away a Pure. I don't know. Check out the One Pod Bandit. Uh, little Birdie told me we were going to be giving away a lot. Of, little Birdie, little pup, little dog, little pup told me we were going to be giving away a lot of phones this fall over on PhoneDog.com. So definitely go over and check that out. You can play on PhoneDog. You can play on Facebook. And it should be pretty cool. Till next time, I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll have to uh, we'll have to check out the Windmo Marketplace here. Yeah, see, you thought we were leaving, but no. Nah, here's the window, windmill marketplace. You can get Pac-Man. You can get Netflix. What else do you need? The big fonts. What is new? It's all new, isn't it? Bing, MySpace, Uno. It's the second phone I've seen recently that had Uno on it. Sweet. Scrabble, Sims, Madden. Really? Madden for a uh, windmill. Let me check that out. Windows Mobile Marketplace, very interesting. Oregon Trail. Oh, Teeny Weeky Health. Tiny, teeny. Wunder Radio. My workout journal. Lots of stuff. There you go. We'll have to do this. This is meriting separate coverage. The Windmill Marketplace. I'm gonna have to get myself a copy of Madden NFL 10 for uh, Windmill. I didn't want The Sims. I want Madden NFL 10. There we go. Award-winning mobile football. Do a dogfight. Windmill versus iPhone. Madden NFL 10. All right, till next time, I'm Noah from Fondock.com. Thanks for watching. We will see you later. Bye-bye. That's me right there, the goofy guy with the glasses. We'll see you later.